Hello everyone. Uh, in today's lesson, you will learn how to create an announcements or news page in your website. This can be very useful in a class website, um, like if you are creating this for your own class, uh, because this is a page where you can always put some of uh, the, the latest developments in your class, latest news announcements that you want the parents or students to read. And um, so uh, in, in your class website, I, I have an introduction of this assignment. And I also have a, a bunch of videos that show you how to do each one of the requirements. And then uh, the, the requirements are listed here. And as you, you can see right here, you, uh, I also actually want you to create two news pages. And one news page is uh, just for, for this class uh, as an exercise to show me that you know how to do it and how to create all the different uh, media elements in the uh, uh, news posts. And then uh, besides that, you also need to create another news, post, uh, news page. And this news page will have some actual contents that you develop uh, for the CPSC uh, 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 classes. And when you click on this link right here, okay, it gives you the specific requirements uh, for each one of the news posts. And uh, the contents for this news post will be graded later uh, by your uh, the CPSC faculty. And they have some different uh, due dates too, okay? Um, now, so let me talk about, you know, what will be due uh, for, for next week. And um, let me use my uh, demo site as uh, the, the guide uh, to show you what is due. Okay, you need to create again uh, two uh, uh, news pages and, and those two news pages need to be linked uh, to your menu bar right here. And, uh, and then in the news page, you should have four entries. Okay. Uh, like in this case, I also have four entries, uh, one, two, three, four, okay? And in the news page, you will notice that uh, the latest news is always on top. And um, so uh, for, for this exercise, I have just created the, the oldest post just an hour ago, okay? Uh, but if you are using this as a actual you know, website for your class uh, room, uh, of course, the oldest page, or oldest post, maybe you know a few weeks ago, and then you know uh, a, a week ago, or then and then the the latest news maybe just yesterday or today, and so uh, for the for the first entry, first post, uh, I want you to have an introduction of yourself, so you can just copy and paste um, what you have in your home page and put it in in this. Uh, uh, introduction right here and you can use, you even use the same picture too and then in the second post I want you to have a link okay so you will learn how to create a link and I have a tutorial for you uh, to teach you how to do that in the third post you need to have a video that relates to the topic and then in the last post you can have either a picture or a, a video or, or a link uh, that relates to the subject um, now I will not be really uh, grading your uh, your text content. I just mainly want to see that you you know how to how to do it. And so, if you uh, for each one of the posts, if you just want to put in one or two sentences uh, to introduce the topic, that would be fine. Okay. However, when you create uh, uh, after you have created uh, this news for CPSC, um, you need to have some real content in there. Uh, for uh, this week, you only need to have the first uh, first entry, first post. Okay, let me get back to the CPSC requirements. Okay, you only have uh, have to have this one, and this one is just uh, to create uh, uh, an introduction um, of your uh, of yourself uh, to the parents. But there are some specific requirements. Okay, uh, this is supposed to be a letter of introduction to the parents uh, at the beginning of the school year. And in your uh, CPSC 460 class, uh, your, your faculty, your, your teacher will teach you uh, what to include uh, in such a letter. Okay, so follow that instruction, use that format, and uh, create an entry uh, in this post. 
and the post should also have a picture and put it um, right there okay under under this this link right there um, and then when you are done then of course you submit um, an email to me and in the email uh, use the subject link IPNT387 and call this uh, the, the email as the uh, news pages and I'll be able to look at that and, and grade that so if you have any question ask me in class or um, you know send me an email okay